Good morning. I thought I'd do a quick walk around on this puppy. Uh, so here's the uh, 327 uh, engine, which is not original power, of course, but 327 engine in place here. Uh, looks like a uh, looks like a hydraulic transmission instead of a uh, manual transmission. That's not an issue. I guess this uh, lid is not hinged yet. Okay. Um, all right, and you had a specific question about whether or not the shaft was already installed, and it is. Uh, don't have very good light down here, but yes, the shaft's installed. Um, looks like our customer, our owner, has replaced a couple of planks on the transom, probably all of them, because this one would have been replaced as well uh, when he did the bottom, and. Uh, all the planking is in good condition, uh, decks and all. So I wanted to give you an overview of that. Um, and of course we know all the right stains that you need to use. Uh, as I mentioned before, there are no seats, but you can see that the, the side panels uh, are included and that's, you know, that's time consuming to make the side panel so that's a good thing there are some extra engine parts in here that uh, I think he took two engines to make one as I recall and we have all the chrome and so forth is is boxed in here steering wheel oh steering wheel you asked a question about and it's the old Chrysler wheel and the wheel itself is in good condition um, the horn ring I think is in with the chrome so if you see any if you don't see anything in here that scares you then what we'll do later today is we'll uh, unpack all this lay it out on the floor uh, and send you a video of it uh, I may actually have pictures of it unpacked already so that's the other thing that we may do uh, and uh, we'll send you uh, send you uh, more information so as you can see one of the planks up here in the front has been replaced as well and uh, uh, and we have another one to go and the colors different which can be addressed with the stain but you may in fact want to address that instead of with the stain address that with some uh, different wood and uh, this was an inherent problem in these capris this crack right here so you may want to address that plank as well uh, we were talking about the trailer it is a a cradle style trailer um, and uh, the silver arrows were were uh, shipped on this style of were sold and shipped on this style of trailer uh, and suppose and and actually if you look in the Chris Craft manuals they'll tell you that this is the type of uh, of uh, trailer that, or, you know, supporting your this is the proper way to support your boat is on a cradle as opposed to on bunks so uh, if you look in some of the owner's manuals for Chris Craft, you'll see they give you depending on the dimensions of the boat they give you dimensions for your cradle so uh, anyway so bottom of course has been done let me get some video of the bottom and very nice job uh, Frank's a meticulous craftsman and uh, He's done a very nice job on the bottom, so I invite you to come look at this boat. Um, kind of getting back to the trailer, uh, we make these bow stops that are like big goalposts. Uh, this one, because of the angle of the boat, you see we had to tilt the, the stop. Normally, we make those guys just straight up and down, but we had to tilt them because of the angle of the uh, the angle on the boat. So. Uh, uh, at any rate, here's the Capri, uh, and uh, we'd be glad to make the seat frames for you, no problem. Here's the, and just some more of what you'd see if you were here, Johnny, on the spot with it. Okay, well, I'm going to uh, get this loaded on the internet and to you right away. Thank you.